All right, guys, you're here, Blue Ray Hill. So it's uh, November 26th. Uh, we're going to start doing some of the gas uh, black iron piping work. Uh, here we're going to do uh, install the, the log lighter. Uh, the unfortunate part was I didn't have quite the right pieces here. The log lighter was a little bit too wide for the fireplace. I have to cut that down. Um, I do have a kit to uh, to thread black iron. So I'll, I'll end up doing that. Um, I was missing a few pieces, so I kind of start the process. I cut the holes in the uh, concrete. Uh, get the main uh, main pipe in and then I quit and I flip over to doing PEX uh, instead um, no no harm no foul um, I had the parts for the pack so I started doing that instead anyway a couple more pieces I'll be able to start the black iron and uh, we'll get that rolling but in the meantime we're ready um, here you see me just putting at least the extension to the uh, log starter pipe uh, make the hole and then uh, try to fit the, uh, the part in there um, it almost fit, and then uh, I wanted to I reset myself and made a three-foot uh, black iron piece that runs underneath the hallway, uh, which will go all the way to my office and then T-bone to the uh, garage for the, the propane supply. But today, because we, uh, the weather turned sour, it's uh, 26. It's been raining all from uh, morning on, um, so it's, it's very wet outside. I'm not doing any work out there. Um, I started doing the PEX, uh, set up a rough end for the PEX for the apartment. And I hope to do the, uh, the middle bathroom as well today. I'm not in a rush. I am missing a few fittings. I don't feel like going out today because it's a pukey weather. Um, it's probably still crazy shopping, <laughs> so I'm gonna stay away from that. Anyway, we're just gonna drill a couple of holes in the top plate and uh, go, go up into the attic. Uh, just a couple of small holes, probably one inch holes, where the pecs are gonna run. And then I'm just gonna bundle it all and run it, basically snake it around the attic and directly into the garage where it'll dump into the uh, copper manifolds we have. We have four port manifolds for the hot for the garage in the side. Six port for all the cold fittings, toilet, shower, sink for both uh, the apartment bathroom and the middle bathroom. And then we have a uh, tub additionally and two sinks in our master. So they'll have a, a different number of manifolds, two, two more six manifolds. We'll use five for cold, uh, for hot and six for cold. And uh, we'll make all that work, uh, plus the utility as well. And then we're gonna shoot uh, some of the, uh, one of the two, well, need hot water for the sink and the, the kitchen. So that's gonna be in there. And then cold water for the fridge. So shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, that's all gonna, that, those are gonna get teed together. The rest are all manifold driven, uh, just like PEX. It's, it's kind of nice to shut stuff off in a functional manner. So anyway, I'm gonna switch over to time lapse, get going on cutting, doing the holes and uh, running PEX. So wish me luck. The less joints, the better. So as I was mentioning in the other part of the video, uh, I switched over to doing the PEX stuff. I started uh, doing basically the rough in. It turned out to be uh, relatively straightforward. Uh, the cool part, again, I have to admit, the container home stuff is cool. Uh, you don't have to cut holes in all the two buys to make everything work. You basically just run it up on the ceiling, start pulling the uh, whatever you want to, whoever you want to go above and behind the wall. Um, again, this is all going to be spray foam, so there's no uh, no issues with that. Um, in fact, it just makes it relatively straightforward. You just go from A to B and uh, pull it through, and off you go. So it goes a lot faster, less work. Um, and uh, in my opinion kind of more straightforward you can see I'm probably using less material than I've had to go through the walls so hopefully that's true so here's a view from the garage uh, here's what I'm running the uh, the PEX through the attic um, you can see me running it uh, above the office and into the apartment area no big deal just kind of run it through and then you snake it through pull it and uh, make it go where you want pretty pretty straightforward it was actually very easy to do uh, the stuff slides pretty good and uh, you can uh, secure it like I did with the uh, the nail in little holders and uh, here I'm doing the the blue water uh, you know they they make a blue and a red the blue is, is supposed to be cold water the red is supposed to be hot just so you can tell what's going on um, it, it's pretty simple to figure out what, what you're doing but anyway I have uh, you saw me doing the manifolds uh, for cold and hot um, and on this side of the house, I just have two hots and I T-boned into the hots for the, uh, the sink and the shower. Hey guys, it's Dave here at Blueberry Hills. Thanks for coming back. So we're going to continue doing the uh, plumbing. I'm going to start, uh, the weather's really nice, so I could do either plumbing or the gas, the propane gas lines. Uh, I'm going to continue with the PEX since that's what I've been doing. Um, we've got some other fittings too, so I can actually do more of the rough end for uh, faucet uh, connections and stuff. Um, they're little eardrop connectors for the PEX. Uh, right now I just punched a hole for the three-quarter inch supply for the uh, main water to the tankless as well as to the cold water side for the master bedroom. 
And that's going to be, this is the, um, our master closet, we're calling it. Um, the water control is going to be in the corner, the tank is going to be in the corner, and then we're going to use the rest for clothes and cabinets and stuff like that. But anyway, it's a, a bit of a mechanical room too, because we're going to have all the water shutoffs on the inside of the building. Um, I was initially going to do put that into the utility, but it, it gets pretty clogged up in there. Um, and we'll very easily be able to run the water lines to the utility from here. So, so we've got uh, six lines, cold lines going over here. We've got two sinks, bathtub, shower, toilet. And then we have two water lines, hot and cold, for the utility. And then we're going to run uh, cold to uh, cold and hot to the kitchen from here. Um, this tank is going to supply the kitchen with hot water. Uh, the other side of the house, the other tankless is for uh, the middle bathroom and the apartment. So that should cover everything. I'm gonna have to probably punch another hole to put the two um, output water lines in here. The hole I made may be big enough for the three quarter inch supply pecs and the two out that I need to go to the kitchen. We'll, we'll find out in a minute here. Anyway, I'm gonna switch over to time lapse again and uh, thanks for following. We'll see you in a bit. Doing the uh, holes for the in the garage that'll run out underneath the container for the supply lines. Uh, now you see me underneath, or I got to chisel out some of the uh, concrete. This is for the actual the one on the left. You can see where the the power cord is. That's the supply line for the water, and this is the uh, where the gas is going to go. And if you blinked, you saw that the, <laughs> the pipe come down. Just make sure it would fit. Now I'm converting, uh, going back to the uh, the peck stuff. Um, Cutting the hole into the between the containers between the bedroom uh, closet and the utility, and then snake the uh, the pecs through there. You can see how easy that stuff is. It's it's pretty amazing how um, you know no joints or no, no nothing. I bought a whole bunch of joints, 90 degrees and T's and stuff, and uh, I'm using very few. So that's fantastic because it's a uh, smooth junctions, uh, just smooth flow rather, and. Uh, the water should be quieter running through the pipes and everything else and uh, should go pretty good. So here's the beginning of the manifolds in the uh, bathroom closet. I have them at an angle just so I can fit them all in into the uh, between the studs. I'll make that look nice. Uh, the tank saw water here goes in the corner anyway so no harm no foul. Uh, here should be running the lines through the uh, the bathroom uh, again up in the ceiling um, and the curly the curly <laughs> pecs is fun to work with. But no big deal. You saw, you see most of the uh, the cold lines already in place. And I'm doing the, the hot, um, and basically just uh, put it in the right place and pull. And uh, it's kind of like pulling wire, actually. So, um, in fact, a little bit smoother than pulling wire. So there, I'm uh, pulling the uh, the hot and cold for the bathtub. That's going to go right to the left side of the uh, window. It's going to be a freestanding kind of faucet thing. Uh, we haven't bought that yet, so we'll figure that out. Um, and then uh, connect everything to the manifolds and good to go. Um, all but one of the manifolds hot get used, all six get used for the, uh, the cold. And you'll see me run the uh, cold and hot to the kitchen side on the island uh, in a little bit. Well, <laughs> there you have it folks. So that was pretty fun. That's uh, pretty straightforward. Didn't really see any real challenges except for going through these uh, containers and I decided I was going to go through the ceiling area and it was too hard to drill in there so I went through the wall, up the wall on the inside of the utility and uh, you might have seen video time lapse on that. Just curled it up the wall and shot it straight over to the utility of uh, the faucets for the, uh, the washer. So everything worked out pretty good. I may not have enough blue um, to run to the kitchen. It's gonna loop back um, when you see this wall, this whole area. So you might think it's kind of funny, but I actually did it at an angle because these are kind of long. Didn't want them sticking out on the wall. So they're gonna, they're recessed in the wall. I'm gonna cover this up with a cabinet panel or something or other. Make some kind of an inside face, whatever. I'm not worried about that right now, but I'm not attaching any of this, uh, this part at least to the, the wall yet. And I'm gonna probably slide something behind there. And the rest is gonna be spray foamed and wallboard, so no big deal. The uh, challenge, one of the challenges, I'm gonna have to have uh, cold. It's gonna come from here, and it's gonna loop back down to the kitchen. Same with the hot. It's gonna probably loop back here, here. I'll go up there and loop behind the wall and out that hole I uh, broke through earlier today, um, the one on the left. The one on the right is the gas, the propane, that's gonna feed the tankless. So, 
figured that was an easy enough solution. Um, I don't have enough room to drill through this corner because the corner's kind of tough. There's three two by sitting there. So I'm just gonna go up and behind and down, no harm, no foul. And I'm gonna have, I'm trying to stay with complete runs. I don't wanna have joints anywhere. I just feel it's a little safer. And that's gonna be on the outside of the house all the way to the kitchen island. So that's gonna be a fun one. Um, and then one more line I have to do is for the uh, fridge. So the water for the fridge, but uh, that's going through the ceiling. Uh, no big deal there. I'll apply a team to one of the, uh, the blue lines that went to that side of the house. That's gonna be a shorter run. So anyway, not a big deal. This is what the blue might be for. I did buy, just for FRI, I bought 500 feet of red and blue uh, PEX uh, half inch uh, piping. Um, I'll need probably one, it's like a 100 foot shot uh, for, from here to the island. It's probably not that long, but I'll measure it up tomorrow. Um, then it's going into the house. We're going to insulate that, of course, snap it to the bottom of the, the uh, containers. I'll probably run it along the vent and the, uh, uh, the water waste line right beside each other, snap it up, and I'll call, probably wrap it in something or other. I might just spray foam the stuff out of it. But anyway, I anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll talk at you later. Uh, we're going to continue doing the rough in tomorrow. I finally got the eardrop uh, connector, so I'm going to put some two bys in the walls for where you didn't see me do that uh, for the faucets, uh, the, the toilet, and the bathtub. So, more to come, but we're getting there. It feels really good. I haven't been on it for too many hours, so I, I think I'm a, not ahead of the game, but I'm definitely not behind as much as I, I thought it would take me. So, anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll talk at you later. Ciao. And here we go, we're gonna start making holes for the uh, pecs that go into the island, the hot and cold water. And that's gonna run through the, from the closet tankless um, and the supply in the, in the closet as well. So I'm just making the hole big enough so the pecs can fit in there. I don't really show you what I do with the cold water pecs, but uh, in a second you're gonna see me doing the connection for the cold. Um, and then I'll show you uh, more or less what I did with the, the, the hot water uh, side of things. So this is run all the way from the island. I snake it through loop it around the, the ceiling and connect it to the uh, the manifold and we're good to go and it's pretty much that straightforward uh, the peck stuff is amazing and here we go with the uh, the hot water side so I just shove it underneath the container um, it's kind of funky unwinding that stuff and in a second you'll see me pull the uh, you know it's time-lapse so I actually there you go suck it all in I connect it to the manifold and uh, we're good to go so everything kind of fit real nice um, I was really happy with how, how that ended up going. Uh, secure everything, uh, crimp it, and off we go. And here I'm just going to make it pretty. I'm going to hang these underneath the container using clips. Um, I didn't do it during this video, but at least I zip tie everything together, make it all nice and tight. Uh, and I walked all the way. You won't see me doing it, but uh, I go all the way underneath the containers uh, <laughs> and secure everything together. Um, and then I continue doing, here's the, uh, the fridge. Uh, ice maker line pretty easy I used every bit of the blue and I had like 10 feet shy so I used a little bit of red to uh, <laughs> complete that line no no big deal um, it's still half inch and uh, now now I'm turning into doing more of the, uh, the, the end of the, the rough in um, I finally got my tear uh, eye drop connectors uh, they're little brass uh, connectors um, showing them where they should be everything screws into these guys um, all half inch connections um, nice and tight uh, three screws to hold everything together put them at a, a, like a seven inch height from the floor which is kind of like standard height and uh, just make everything nice and, and uh, proper So I had to make a little bit of bigger hole so I could fit the water and the gas line through the, the floor. Um, I thought I made it big enough, but not quite. So I redrilled, no big deal. And then I start doing the rough end for the, this is all three quarter inch connecting the tankless to the manifolds. And then I'm gonna take that big line and actually run it to the garage. And that's the feed from uh, the tankless um, and the connection in the garage area. Hey guys, we take here. So we're gonna do a little walkabout um, the house, etc. See what we're, stage we're in. You can see we're uh, got the roughed in AC stuff. Um, the ducts are just kind of hanging below the ceiling or eventual ceiling. And then of course we, we stuff the uh, little uh, doodads in there 
and connect it uh, once we have the drywall up. Um, what I was working on, you've seen the time lapse, is all the, the roughing for the plumbing. I just got the plugs. They're not tightened yet, but that's going to let us pressurize the system when we have to. Test everything, make sure we've got no leaks. And just the bathtub stuff. And uh, I got a feeling Angie and I are going to have to go buy some uh, fixtures for the showers because I can't do anything about that until we have those. Those go directly to the, uh, the fixture itself. So, And here's the fun part I was working on. So this is all connected. Um, I don't have the gas line in there. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow or day after, whatever. Um, but I just finished doing the uh, all the pecs. Um, this is going to be basically covered up. Uh, it's going to be more or less in the wall, but accessible. And uh, there's a tankless. All the lines run through the ceilings. So this is like a completely non-conventional way to build because I don't have to drill holes in there, everything. I just run everything on top of that. It's all going to be spray foamed on the ceiling area. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, we'll seal all the stuff in. Um, all these things come apart. I obviously I fix these up, right? But uh, these unscrew. Nothing's permanent yet because these uh, tankless uh, hot water heaters have to come off the wall when we do the drywall. So if we continue on, this is the, of course the master. We redid the uh, the water lines for the, uh, the dryer, our washer. Uh, we flipped it. We actually had it the other way around, and we had supply coming from the bottom. But it was too easy to do it through the ceiling. And uh, it just runs through there and through the wall and into the uh, tankless on the other side in, the, in our closet. So if we walk here, we're uh, going to walk into the other parts of the house. This is the hallway, of course. This is the bathroom. I just finished doing the rough in there as well. There are stubs on it. Um, so all the, all the main roofing is done except for showers. We need, definitely need the fixtures. So we're going to be spending a few dollars on that because none of that stuff is cheap no more. I don't think it ever was, but anyway, here we are in our what we call the apartment. Rough end is done, uh, water wise. Another shower thing, um, and then of course the sink right there. Um, so all the waste lines and now the plumbing are pretty much done for this that component of the, the thing. Showers are next. Uh, we're gonna have again have the fixtures in hand. Didn't do much over here. I did start the uh, the gas. We're gonna do a log starter kit for the uh, the fireplace. That means I have to disassemble the stuff, pop a hole through there, and I'm uh, I haven't done any of the iron work yet. I have a kit which is right there um, to actually thread the black iron, and it turned out to be not too expensive. So when when you compare. Uh, Black iron to the CCST stuff, and the CCST stuff is pretty interesting because you cannot buy different manufacturers for with fittings and uh, the tubing. So I decided just to go black iron because I can do that and not worry about it. Um, I still hesitated to do the black iron, I mean the black iron, the CCST, uh, just because it's flexible and it has a rubber membrane on the outside-ish. Anyway, looking back to the, uh, to the plumbing, I just did the rough end for the island. Um, those those pipes are run relatively that way to the tankless hot water heater over there. I'm waiting on a fixture for the fridge. That's for the ice maker, of course. And that pretty much sums that up. Let's go upstairs. That's what I did a lot of work last week. So here's our going to be our feature wall. So I basically just put some wood there. Uh, we're going to secure some uh, stained wood on that uh, via glue and possibly little bread nails, etc. Excuse the mess, I hadn't cleaned up since I've been working. <laughs> so, anyway, here we come out to the, uh, this is fun, come out to, this is our deck. So it's now nice and flat, although it's not flat, it's got a little little bow in it from one end to the other, so watershed. And uh, I have one panel left over. I can't finish that because we have to do one more line in there and I can't find the ducting just yet. It's a 12 inch, once I find that, cut a hole in that box I made run the flex duct up into the attic and that's good to go and can button that up um, what I need to do next is buy the trim that goes on the outside probably a 2 by 10 um, just so I can finish that off and it'll go below the the metal metal pieces let me see hopefully I don't drop my camera so it's gonna go below this just a little bit kind of like that and uh, 
extend down and then we'll put zip tape and all that fun stuff on there to weatherproof it and then uh, we have tpo which is a membrane for flat roofs that'll go on top of that glued down with this crazy glue contact glue and then uh it'll be uh 100 waterproof this is what it looks like from up here this is kind of neat it's going to be a beautiful view it's late in the day it's about uh, four o'clock together we're going to do a little bit of trimming of these trees because <laughs> we can't see anything yet and there's our junk pile blah 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 and our spare metal building which we're going to use for the patio and some other stuff so i've already used some metal from that you saw that so if we look around the corner there, you see one of the AC units. We got that mounted up last week, um, or not? A, it's installed. It's, nothing's run yet, um, so it's roughed in. Uh, the ha air handlers, one's up there, and uh, you saw me if you watch my other videos. This is the rough in for the uh, return, and the air handler is pretty much in line right there. So. Nothing fancy there, but uh, we're getting it done, slow but sure. Now, I'm not, I'm not spinning the camera around too fast, but anyway. So let me walk down outside and do a little walk around about the house on the outside. I've been asked to do this by several people just to see what it looks like now. Um, I guess I should have done that when I did the roof. So here we're in, we're in the garage. Let me show you the uh, kind of the rough end, um, all the peck stuff I've been doing here. So this is going to be parallel. Or probably to go to the ground, etc. This is all kind of roughed in. I'm going to be working on that line down there. Um, I don't have the fixture for that. I have one inch line going to three quarters, and I forgot to buy the fixtures for that. Well, let me go up here. This is fun. Hopefully, the camera will pick this up. So, I guess I can turn. There's one of the air handlers. It's all plumbed in, ready to go. A little dark in here. I guess I should really turn on the, the light. Let me do that. Oh, much better. Okay, so we got a little LED light that I always use up here. Uh, we do have a socket up there that I hadn't done anything with, put a light in it. So here's our pecs going up there. So you'll see, you know, it's just a little T. So I ran out of blue. I used 500 feet of blue, uh, you know, a couple spare leftovers. But anyway, um, I had a 20 feet of red that I used for the, this is for the fridge. So I just tied into the toilet actually that goes into the middle bathroom. That's a water, uh, cold water for the toilet. And uh, that plums over to the outside. Let me walk up here. Hold on. I hope it'll fall on my head. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Okay. So these are our nice Bosch units. They're supposed to be pretty smart. So we'll, we'll figure that out. So here's the bulkhead we're going to put. You see the water line running in there. Uh, gas is going to go in there as well. Um, and then probably several uh, flex ducts. They're just gonna pile on top of each other and everything's gonna be good. Um, there you see the, the hole in the hallway for the uh, return. We'll be working on that later. But uh, these units are kind of ready to roll. Um, we didn't wire these up yet, but uh, James and I are gonna probably do that uh, when he comes back to the, the site and helps me out. Anyway, let's walk outside. Here, I'll show you my little driveway work. I did, uh, I had to redo the driveway last week. And then it rained for a day, so I had to redo it uh, two more times. But I think that actually helped out because it's packed down real good now. Um, and uh, it actually helped us out that it was got wet. Anyway, here's a view from the front. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the metal, metal roof looks really nice. You can't see the AC units. And my ladder is leaning on a tree, so I can't show you the AC units up there. But let's do a quick walk around. Walk about, as the Australians say. I'm not going to try an accent. It's looking uh, pretty okay in my book. I'm really digging it. It's starting to feel really good inside. Oops, sorry about that light there. And now uh, let me show you some of the stuff that's going on here too. So a while back we did the old ceiling, window ceiling. You saw that in a prior video. And uh, since I've been working on the water supply, here it is. So it runs basically through the bottom of the container right here. And then that's for the kitchen. So that runs along the waistline and the airline. Uh, actually, that's the air, air uh, vent that goes to the kitchen. That's the one right over there. And I just ran the water supply. This is a three quarter inch water supply. It's gonna be shared 
to the tankless hot water heater up in the garage that you just saw. But here's the uh, also the plumbing. Um, the water supply itself is one inch, so I have to reduce that from one inch to three quarters. And if you excuse the mess, I I haven't really felt like cleaning since I've been doing stuff and uh, seeing what the house looks like back here. Here, let me flip. Okay, so here's a shot from the back. You can see the overhang of the deck. It's about, uh, well, it's 13 and a half inches exact. We'll put another two by on it, so it's gonna be 15 inches out. And uh, that actually helps with windows. You know, probably windows don't get wet. You can actually have a window cracked open without it being uh, wet once it's raining. Um, in fact, sometimes depending on where the window rain comes from, we can leave the windows open. So that's been really cool. But there it is. Uh, this hasn't changed too much on the outside over here. But then she did take off the the film on the windows because we're not painting anything. We're just having metal siding put on. But um, it's starting to feel real good. We're happy. Uh, things are rolling because right now a lot of stuff's getting done fairly quickly. Electrical's done. Um, I do have to one run one more 30 amp circuit for the septic. No big deal. Um, but there it is. So, plumbing's getting done. Uh, gas, I, you know, sort of started, but not really. I got all the parts. So for propane, I'm gonna run uh, basically just iron, black iron pipe and connect it all and spew up all the joints, etc. And then uh, we'll get bubble gas to provide the, the actual propane tank. And it's a 500 a gallon, which is what we're going for right now. Anyway, there's a walkabout. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me see if I can walk further out and show you the AC units on the roof. Whiskey, get the box. Just get it. Kill it, kill it. There you go. Good boy. So this is a view from our porch at the RV. You can see the AC units on the very top. Right over there. There's two of them. They go down on the, uh, they're about three feet from each other. And uh, again, the ladder's leaning on a tree right now. They were trying to get a cat down from a tree yesterday. I wasn't part of that, but uh, anywho. The cat came down without the ladder. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. It's pretty cool. Um, it's been fun. Some of it's not been fun. It's just a lot of work. But uh, when it comes to uh, how it's coming along, everything's working according to plan. So, that's the good part. Uh, time wise, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we did get uh, the septic permit. So, we're good to go there. Got the thumbs up just was it yesterday morning so as far as everything's concerned we're rolling um once we do the electrical plumbing i mean electrical sorry plumbing and gas i have to do network and uh, coax or whatever kind of cable for tv um just so we could bridge uh, some tvs uh, in a, probably the game room uh, maybe the apartment and then uh in the main living room uh, so i'm researching that right now not a whole lot of solutions for direct tv uh, we don't want to spend a lot of money for television but i do like my tv especially for cars and stuff like that and uh we'll see where that actually ends up um you can have two 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 one tuner two tvs uh, on the direct tv uh box and if we need a third one that's going to be i don't know i guess there's a reduction in cost but it'd be another expense and uh it would be for the apartment nobody's going to really be in there um until we get uh, somebody you know staying for uh, more of a permanent basis but anyway when time comes to it we'll we'll cover that anyway appreciate you guys watching um so that's the walkabout enjoy um subscribe and uh, we'll talk at you later ciao